Greetings, my human friends. This is Rudolf of Germany, the tall white alien. A few videos back I made a video called Self-Reliance versus Slavehood. Not many people were very interested in this subject. People rather have subjects like black Americans against black Africans or stuff like that, which is very easy to understand and people can talk about it and insult each other in the most horrific way. I have seen this in my very first video already, which is still being seen by thousands of people a week. And the race factor, the race issue will never die because if you are one or the other, if you are white, black or red or brown, you always find a way to excuse yourself and even lift up your ego by finding something very special in your race, which of course is utter nonsense because no matter what color you are, you are still responsible for your own well-being and behavior and your situation in society as a civilized man or woman. But all of this has also to do with the subject I would like to talk about today. Self-reliance has been compromised starting with the beginning of the Industrial Age, starting again in England at the, eight, at the year 1812 with the invention of the steam machine by James Watt. Thereafter, very large companies, very large plants sprung up and thousands and thousands of workers had to work under terrible conditions. This being taken on by Karl Marx, who uh, wrote the Communist Manifesto in order to, as he claimed, protect the rights of the simple worker to his work and his livelihood. This has been in the UN Charter a very few years later, been picked up and was touted as the right to employment and the right of work, which I have been speaking of before. Now we are in a situation that uh, these communistic ideas have been placed into pretty much every constitution of the Western world. You have the right of employment, which means nothing else then you are forced into employment. And if you are leaving school or university, the very first thing is you are looking for employment. That means you are looking for some company, some group of owners of capital means to take you in and let you work for them so you can survive. This is the whole idea behind communism. It is not the freeing of the masses. It was just a trick by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels who invented the idea of communism to put a vast masses of people under the control of a small governmental group. If you leave school today, everybody expects you to right away look for a job. No matter how desperate you are looking for it, maybe in the beginning you can find it and your aspiration and your dreams are being smashed after a very short time and you are happy to find work at all, even if it is work which is underpaid and does not live up to your mental and physical capabilities. This is the whole idea in modern slavehood. You come out of school, 
You are looking for a job right away. And if you don't, you are a lazy bastard, right? But even for those lazy bastards or the poor deprived one who cannot really find a job, the state, which is your slave master, has another option left. You go on to welfare. And even in welfare, they are, well, they are taking care of you with a very small amount of money or food stamps. They keep total control over you. It does not matter if you have a slavehood employment and work for little money or in turn you do not even find work. The state gives you a little bit of that money which has been produced by the slaves who are working. As more people are on welfare, as better for the state. Don't be kidded and don't believe the stories that people are supposed to be all employed. The state has the biggest control over you if you are on welfare, because they can, man can manipulate you in any way they want. You will never start a revolution, you will never complain, because if you complain and you want to go away, live in another town, do something else, it is all not possible, because you will lose your welfare money. And if you do not exactly that, what the state tells you, they will cut the money you receive or don't give you anything at all and you are starting to starve. This is the highest form of control a state can have over its citizens. Have one half under total control by giving them extremely small money to just barely survive and the other ones have to work in employment which they have been groomed for and being educated for during these years in school. Where is there a chance for you to break free? First, you have to understand the situation you are in and understand that the entertainment industry has nothing else to do than to fill out the little free time of the employee and the vast free time of the unemployed with senseless, stupid movies and shows so you don't even get the idea in what situation you are living in. But all of this, my dear friends, is not very interesting to you. I get all kinds of comments and people love the scandalous videos, the strangest things they can see on YouTube and otherwhere, and are not willing to reflect up on themselves in what situation they are in. A happy slave who can sit and eat and don't have to worry somebody else thinks for him, is that what the deep state wants? You are not needed on this planet anymore because you are not productive. In order not to raise up and make a revolution and cut the heads of the deep state leaders, they give you a little bit of money so you'd survive. And they feed you very, very poisonous food, so you overweight more and more and don't even reach the age of 60 years in many cases. Or you are so ill and weak and full of pharmacy, pharmaceutical products, that you cannot catch a clear thought. This is the idea of a global government. Give the people the impression they are well taken care of. Everybody goes to school to learn something in order later to become an employee. And the ones who cannot make it because we don't need so many employees anymore in an age of machines and in an age of computers, less and less people are needed. Put the rest on a tiny amount of money and many drugs in food and otherwise to keep them calm. This, my dear friends, you have to keep in mind when you watch your next 
silly, stupid show on television and eat your hamburger. Rudolf of Germany.